So I'm not sure if this is a thing or not, but we are, in my opinion, in a crypto recession, okay? I think that we're overall in a larger macroeconomic recession. You don't have to look too far to know that we are, right? I mean, when everything costs more money, everything from the grocery store to fuel, gas for your car, your truck, to your rent, to every single thing, every single thing costs more money, you're in a recession in one way or the other. Okay, inflation, obviously, inflation and recession, both bad, hand in hand. Report came out Friday, inflation data at a 44 decades, 40 year all time high, hit 8.6%. You're seeing the massive toll that that has taken. Over the weekend, we dropped um, below 1 trillion as far as market capitalization for crypto, okay? Bitcoin at 24,000, Ethereum at, at 1,200. It is entirely possible. A lot of technical analysis that I'm looking at and people that are extremely smart that do TA all the time are calling for Bitcoin to go below 20,000 and Ethereum to go below 1,000. The good news is those are right, those should be our basements. Those should be our support levels when we grow up, when we do drop below there. But yes, we are in a crypto in recession. Are we in a crypto winter? Is this a massive bear run that's going to happen forever? No, this too shall pass. And there will come a point where the money starts to flow back in. But therein lies the problem and therein lies the rub, if you will. If you're looking at like the fear and greed index, you've had this running at extreme fear. Last month was a nine as far as that. I mean, I don't, that's a, the lowest I've ever seen it. And extreme fear, this measures fear. I don't like the word uh, greed. This measures fear and confidence, okay? So this measures that on a social sentiment level. There is simply none, okay? So the fact that Ethereum is pushing down, Bitcoin's pushing down, all all this is adding up to a perfect storm scenario where crypto and stocks are falling. We've also got the Federal Reserve that's going to be meeting on this coming Wednesday, two days from now. Okay, uh, They were expected to raise the Federal Reserve rate by 50 basis points. I personally believe they're probably going to do it more now because of that bad report that we had come out on Friday, the inflation data report, because I don't think that right here, right now, that it, is, it has been enough I think it's been too little too late as far as raising the interest rates. I think that inflation and recession is at a much more aggressive pace. And it's just kind of, again, you can just look around and you can see it and you can feel it. Now, I'm not an economist and things like that, but this is just, again, my opinion. But here's what it, here's what, here's, here's, here's where I'll end on this. It's not all bad. Okay, uh, I'm buying Bitcoin, Ethereum if they continue to drop to those levels. I buy every day, but I'm going to buy be, be buying even more. Okay, because again, those are some significantly low good levels because I believe in crypto long term. I think the crypto long term will eventually go back to two trillion, three, four, five trillion market cap. It is coming, guys. Bitcoin is going to be the gold standard. Ethereum is going to be the nerve center, if you will. The the, the I always think of, of Ethereum as like you know the, the kind of like the nerve center of of the vast majority of the blockchain, right? Everything flows through Ethereum, if you will, right? And so, yeah. This too shall pass, but right here, right now, we are in the middle of this storm. We are in a crypto recession, in my opinion, but that's where we're at. What do you think? Drop in the comments below. As always, thanks for giving me a few minutes of your day. And uh, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I've promised you guys I'll always shoot straight with you and be real with you. And that's where we're at. And I'm right here in this ship with you. All right, I'll see you.